reimagine your customer experience. So how can data, how can AI and cloud help you to completely transform the customer experience at your contact center? And how can you improve your customer experience maturity within your organization? Tenefa Murphy, she's the Chief Marketing Officer at Five9. She's here to talk about the exciting developments in the customer experience domain. Welcome, Geneva. Hello, thank you for having me. You're welcome. So reimagine customer experience. That's, I think, quite a bold statement you make, and it makes me very curious. So can you explain what opportunity contact centers have to transform the customer experience with data, with AI, and with cloud? Yeah, well, I think now more than ever, there is so many different opportunities uh, that have come about in the contact center as a result of technology and none more so than all of those three that you mentioned. And it starts with cloud. So we've been in the cloud uh, contact center business for over 20 years. Actually, this year, Five Nine celebrated 20 years in business. And, you know, earlier this week, uh, for those of you who were uh, cloud lovers out there, you know, EC2 celebrated 15 years in business, which I just think is amazing. I still remember uh, going into meetings when we were all complaining about there just being one region for EC2. Uh, now it's just commonplace and it really started a revolution. And it does start with cloud because a lot of customers actually less than um, 20 percent of customers have moved their contact center to the cloud. And when you're not on the cloud, you don't have the same nimbleness, the same agility to be able to respond to change. And if we know anything about how consumers consume today and the type of experience they want, they want personalized experience, they want to be able to have changes, they want to be able to see brands reacting to the outputs that they're putting out there, the requests for better experience that they're putting out there. So first at first is moving to the cloud, that brings additional agility. The next piece is when you look at AI as an example. AI, you know, it's a, it's great, it's not pixie dust. It's not fairy dust. It's not just going to sprinkle some AI in the contact center and make everything better. And we find that a lot of our customers are still trying to find one of the practical use cases for AI in the contact center. One of the most practical use cases that we've seen is actually around using AI to better coach and assist the live agents. So when you call up a contact center, a lot of our customers are using our agent assist technology and AI in order to be able to provide coaching cards to their agents. What to say next? What to recommend? Can you recommend an upsell? Listening with AI and learning with AI about things like customer sentiment and tone so that you can essentially provide feedback in real time to the agent about maybe how to change their pace, how to use different phrases in order to deal with the customer and make sure that they can handle the customer problem in a quick, rapid fire way. So there's lots of opportunity with all of those. And all of that comes together in data. AI is nothing without vast amounts of data. And in the contact center, it's all about understanding who's who, what do they like, how are you going to make sure you can engage with them? And that's all dependent on having a robust data source so that you can personalize and you can make sure that the engagements are context aware. Some great examples how data, AI, and, and clouds help improving the customer experience. And, and you are speaking at the Five9 Customer Experience Summit about improving and measuring the customer experience maturity. Can you explain why this is so important? And can you share with us some, some highlights that you will address in your keynote? Yeah, so really excited about that. And the uh, the session is all about how you take analytics into action, because what we find is a lot of the time people collect data, they connect, uh, you know, they collect data, first of all, then some of them will analyze, but do they actually get the insights out of them and do something with it and create that closed loop uh, approach? to actually leveraging data. So in the session, we'll go through what are some of the key KPIs, the key performance indicators that are being tracked in the contact center and looking at things like, you know, first call uh, resolution or first interaction resolution is still a popular KPI in the contact center, making sure that when the customer engages with you, how quickly, how effectively can you make sure on that first interaction, you get a resolution to the problem. 
But at the same time, you know, we're seeing metrics like average handle time going down. Why? Because agents and brands want to create more engaging experience with, with their customers. And so the session will really touch upon what are some of those key KPIs? Which ones are we seeing trending up, trending down? Another key one is churn. Churn, for those who've been around the customer experience and contact center world for a while, will know that churn in the contact center, so the rate of losing agents, tends to hover around the sort of 40% mark. Sometimes goes a little bit up, sometimes goes down. And that's where using data and insights in a proper way, using AI and using automation can actually help reduce that churn number and create greater longevity. Now, if you have longevity with your agents, they're building up more tacit knowledge. If they're building up more tacit knowledge, they can probably start to have, again, better first call resolution, a better experience for the end customer. So it's all connected. I can't wait for your keynote. So, so the five, five nine Seek Summit, it will be held on September 1st and the 2nd. And in addition to your keynote, what are the exciting speakers and the exciting content that attendees can expect? And, and why is this an event that, that you don't want to miss? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's hard. Don't get me wrong, right? There's so many different events going on, but but you know, maybe I'm biased. Uh, but I think there, are, I think this is going to be a really great event, and there's a few reasons why. Um, I think in addition to uh, the different sessions that we have, we've got nearly 70 different sessions, and they vary from some on demand, which customers will be able to obviously see during uh, the event week. And then afterwards as well, we'll make those on, on demand and available. But in true event fashion, yes, we can't be in person, but you want live interactions. So we're going to have live discussion forums, live roundtables, ask us anything sessions, which are incredible. Well, we'll be bringing our engineers, our solution consultants, our CTO, Jonathan Rosenberg, who's been in the industry for a long time, has a lot of knowledge to talk about key topics like AI, like automation, and how you can actually implement that in a practical way within your environment. And similarly, on the keynote side, we've obviously got the standard product keynote um, that everyone needs to have. So you can find out where things are going in the future. Cal Shabella, who's our head of product, will be leading that. He'll actually be going through a day in the life demo. So that's great because he's not just going to talk about what we're doing. He's actually going to show it. It's going to show it in a live demo day in the life. We've got some great partners joining us for that demo, Microsoft and Salesforce. And then also we've got our CEO, Rowan uh, Trollope. He always has a great point of view to share. Uh, he always tries to, you know, think about what's the, going on with customers um, and then also, you know, make sure that he's talking about the here and now and what's going on in the future. And we wrap it up with Mike Massimino, who's a uh, astronaut, um, to really capture on this theme of reimagining and imagining what's possible. Uh, and there's nothing more amazing, I don't think, than uh, being able to go to space. So tons of sessions, live interactions, live Q&A, access to everyone from our executives to our engineers, and a ton of keynotes where we're not just bringing our technology, but we're bringing the power of the Five9 ecosystem by bringing our partners into those showcases as well. I'm really looking forward to the summit. So I would just say, Join us and learn how customer experience will be reimagined using data, using AI, and using cloud. Geneva, thank you. And for the audience, thank you for watching. Until next time. Thank you.